Hey coding owls, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's start with the practical two of our sheet. And as you can see, the very first practical, write a Java program for following scenario. Run a loop from 1 to 100 while looping when the number is even, printed square, and the number is odd, printed skew. It's uh, very simple. We don't. I don't think we need any explanation. So I will jump back to our folder. I'll create a new folder. This time it is practical two. And under my practical two, I create a looping example dot Java file. As usual, I don't need this package, and I'll start with the main method. In this main method, I will simply just uh, say I want to run a loop and the idea is if the number is square, uh, I want to start with that. So just to make it more, much more easier and fun, let's say let's int start is equal to zero, int end is equal to 100 or let make let start is one. Uh, why am I doing this? See, I know the numbers are fixed, but let's say in practical time someone changes your start and end number. They say print uh, like start the loop from 131, go till 305 and print the same even if number is even print square if number is odd print q now in that situation if you have the variable derived out in a, a values derived out in a variable you just need to come and change this here it's, it's always smart to do this yeah so i'll say for int number is equal to start number is less than equal to end and number plus plus so now if i will say if the number i am trying to check with if that number is even how will i do that if number is equal to number mod to equal to zero i will simply just take the value as uh, system dot out dot print ln. let's see it is an even number right so when even number Uh, I want to print the square. So I will say even number is what? Even number plus number. And I'll just put up two slash to show and square is uh, what? Number multiplied by number, right? So number multiplied by number. Else that number is an odd number. So I will copy paste this line. This time, instead of even number, I'll say it is an odd number. And my Q value is number multiplied by number multiplied by number. Okay then, so if I try to run this now, I'll open my terminal, change to practical loop, Java C looping example, Java space looping example, So this is how I will get my output. 83 is an even number and I got its cube. 82, sorry, 83 was an odd number, I got the cube. 82 is the even number, I got the square. Yeah. So this is your 2.1. The next practical in the list is we have to print the Floyd triangle, which is a pattern. Yeah, now this pattern is very famous amongst the college students and it might be tough, it might be easy. I have created a simple three way solution for that. So what you will have to do is uh, stop this video for your right now and go to the, this link contains a video I have given. This video, I have made it like around in 2018. So it is like six years back. And but this is a very simple three steps video. I have posted the link in the chat window. You can go and check it out. Now, once you know how to create the pattern, see, this is what exactly the Floyd triangle means. You are creating a pattern first for printing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 till 15. Then what you will do every step, you will mod each element by 2 and take the remainder. So if you see 1 mod 1, 1 mod 2 is 1, 2 mod 2 is 0, whereas 3 mod 2 is 1, 4 mod 2 is 0, 5 mod 2 is 1. So this is how the Floyd triangle output is. And let's start, uh, now let's do the practical for it. But please practice the pattern before you jump into this video. That will be much more helpful. Create a new file here and call it as Floyd Triangle Java. And uh, here, what I want to do is 
this is this will require three variables two to loop so here i am going to say for first i say int k is equal to 1 so i am writing this outer loop for int i is equal to 0 i is less than equal to 5 i is less than 5 because i want to run this loop for 5 times i plus plus then for int j is equal to 0 j is less than equal to i j plus plus so this will do what it will run so for when first time your i is 0 uh, this will run for less than equal to i that means it will run for only for one time and what it will print so this time i am using see i am not using system dot out dot print i am just using system dot out i am printing the value of k okay i am printing the value of k and then i put up a slash t and after that slash t after this has been updated i will do k plus plus because i want to update the value of k so next time it will print 2 3 4 5 and so on and after we are done with this loop let's see what is the output first so let me clear the old output if I say Java C Floyd triangle, then I do Java space Floyd triangle dot class. Oh, this is not, yeah, my bad. Because it is printing till 15, but I forgot to add up. Like once I'm out from this loop, I need to provide a break. So I'll say slash in here. And if I do the compilation again and run this again, you will see that it is going on till see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. But the output we are expecting is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, right? So what I want to do is I will just put up a mod 2 here and you can see my output switch swiftly changes to 101010101 so it's very simple right but only thing you need to check is how do you uh, see the output like how do you create the pattern first so you can find this code on the link in the description i have uh, added that code uh, on our blog sites and uh, you can check it out from there so this is what my practical 2.2 i think it would be a good time if you subscribe to my channel right now if you haven't yet and let's jump on to the third one So the third practical in our list is we have to print a pattern but this is a reverse pattern and it is not only reverse like 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 we have to go in the incremented ascending order but in a reverse pattern so let's do this I will close this uh, clear the screen from here and let us quickly create a new file let us call it as reverse pattern dot java and in my the reverse pattern let's start with this main under main what i want to do is uh, so the first loop i want to run is from 1 to 5 so i'll say for int i equals to 1 i is less than see this loop will run for 5 times in a descending order so i'll say for int i is equal to 5 i is greater than equal to 1 i minus minus so i want this to run for five time but i want to print the internal value for j so i'll say what for int j is equal to one j is less than equal to i i want to stop it at five and then i say j plus plus so this way what will happen now i'll have say system dot out dot print again okay, see system dot out dot print not ln just print and I am printing the value of j plus slash t. And after the second loop ends, I just say system dot out dot print ln for slash n. Okay, let's see how it works out. Java C reverse pattern dot Java Java space reverse pattern.
So this is how your final output looks like. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one. This is the pattern we were looking for. Yeah, we have achieved the correct pattern. Okay, so I have added this uh, code as well on a link. In, you can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching this video. This was your practical 2 series 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3.